Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you remember, because I certainly somewhat only remember, partially, maybe, um, we have a new goal of getting more rubies, so we can get the prawn soup. So, one of those decisions that I made was to take the scanner room and uh, begin taking it with me, as well as the bioreactor. So, the logic behind this is that um, I'll be able to find the rubies a lot faster, obviously. So, And we also have a way to now naturally grow some of the more rare resources. Because we found gel sacks. Actually, I think we got lucky in the time capsule lab. Both gel sacks and the mushroom spores in them. So, lucky me. I want some coffee. The little voice it makes is kind of cute. All right. Um, I'm slowly running out of room here. Okay, thankfully we grow potatoes on board, so food is not really a problem anymore. But now we need to go and uh, deconstruct some stuff. So I think the first thing we're going to need is a hatch. So we're going to pull this off, then we're going to pull the scanner room off. If I remember, we did grab the modules out of it, I think. Oh well. Hopefully we did. That would really suck if it turns out I didn't. I really hope that they're on the the Cyclops. Oh, speaking of Cyclops, let's take this with us. Let's take these with us, and then we're gonna go see if we can swap them out real fast for other good ones, and then if there's any that are empty or near empty we're gonna drop them off and then head out so uh the uh the drain distribution is way too uneven on them but that'll help okay let's see if i can Spot scanner stuff in here somewhere. Uh oh. That's not good. Do I have a locker up here or something? No. I maybe put them in the Seamoth storage? No. Shoot. Did I really just lose, uh. Scanner room stuff. I really hope I didn't, because that would suck if I did. Because those were kind of expensive. And just a pain to build. Let's see, this only has seeds in it, right? Yep. Um, 
Let's do a quick harvest check real fast. Okay, yeah. Okay. That sucks. I didn't realize the inventory was full. I wonder if that's what happened with the uh, scanner room fragments, if we lost them that way. Darn. Oh, I really hope I didn't lose them. I mean, like, if I don't see him here, anywhere, among any of the storages, then where else would they be? I thought I pulled him out last episode, but I guess not. Crap. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe if I'm lucky, when I rebuild the uh, scanner room, they'll be there again. Oh well, it really doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, actually, I know what I can get. Um, okay, 90% power. Computer chip and magnite. See, a computer chip is gold, copper. Do I even have that much magnite? That bang is driving me freaking crazy. I only have two. I only have two. Darn. I hear you laughing at me. Knock that off. Okay. So if I remember correctly, if we head this way, while looking now, we'll actually end up running into one of the uh, Abyss uh, Blood Kelps pretty early, without having to go super far. So, that'll be super helpful if we can find one early on and not have to... Uh, go hunting. So. Huh, it looks like those are... We want Magnite, though. A good place would go. It would be right down there. I suppose. Crevice, giant heckin' hole in the ground. Okay, no, but we're really close, because I know that this is one of the biomes that's nearby the, uh... The 
blood kelp pits of despair and ruin and sadness and fear and depression and loneliness. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, I must have missed something. Okay, something doesn't feel right. Yeah, something's not right. I don't think I'm in the right area. Something tells me I'm not in the right area. Whoa. Okay, just maybe I wasn't in the right area. This feels like that uh, um, scene in Star Wars. Um, episode 5 where they're inside the uh, the I don't even know what they call that the asteroid worm and the floodlights are on they think they're being like stalked by something it turns out they are that's what it feels like right now Oh, shoot. Yeah, we were near the ghost leviathan. Yeah, it's probably best if we uh, back uh, away from this area here. And head about yonder. And now start dropping down. Why is it that when I don't want to find a blood kelp forest, they're like everywhere, but as soon as I actually want one, they're like nowhere to be seen. And this is also where I don't want to be right now. Because I know exactly where this stuff leads to. Oh, I know what kind of creepy critters live down here. You're not taking me for a fool. I hate those things so much. Oh yeah, that's a thing. some bleach. There we go. That'll last us. 
And it's finally daytime. Oh, those are some dead fish. Okay, so... I don't remember how to find the blood kelp forests. I just know they're like, you know, around these areas here. Huh. This is interesting. That thing's dead. So we know for a fact that blood kelp forests naturally spawn. Not spawn, but they're usually placed around the depths of 300 meters. Something's not right. I feel like I'm not going the right direction to find one. I feel like rather instead I'm walking into a trap. Yeah, this is not where I want to be going. Okay, so we're going to do some backtracking here. And that's why. That noise is exactly why. How is it that even in a summer rain like this, I'm still afraid of things? Like I got a pretty good uh, separator between myself and the outside world. So I'm pretty good with a submarine, with escaping from stuff. So, which you guys have no evidence of. Oh, the one thing that I'm not good with a submarine at is um, navigating through tight holes, as evident by a previous episode, which um, I uh, tried to brute, my for brute, brute force my way through, and that ended with um, unfavorable results. Shall I say? You know, I probably should be using the Seamoth uh, for exploration and then using the cyclops to get to the destination as sort of a hub point but that's too much work so we're just gonna drive the big slow behemoth around and hope for the best So I'm trying to stay on sort of like a rotation of the life pod so I don't end up going too far.
And eventually I'm going to have to get the Cyclops uh, death module and depth module installed. Not death module. Death module. It shoots lasers. Here we go. That's, uh, this is what I wanted. So, yeah. All right. Time to search for rubies. This episode isn't going to be nearly as long as some of the others, just due to restrictions that I have in place right now on myself. Um, I might actually start uploading less in the future and focusing more on quant like quality instead of quantity and doing like major projects instead of uploading daily. Because another thing that's getting in my way of uh, finishing some of the projects I'm working on is recording. Because I spend, I think, for every episode that I make, I spend roughly 30 minutes um, editing and then 20 minutes rendering and then 10 minutes uploading again. So it's like, you know, I could be using that time to... Uh, work on the projects because that's like an hour per episode and you put them together that's seven hours a week that I'm spending you know anywhere from seven to eight hours a week on you know doing the recording stuff and that's that's on top of you know school and all the other stuff and you know trying to keep all that stuff on track and it, it just kind of it's a lot to kind of keep on top of, and depending on how things go with the first project that I release, and if I actually decide to go through with the second project, um, I might end up doing just uh, four episodes a week instead, and then working on the projects. That way I can get big things out every once in a while, instead of, you know, once in a blue moon. Because I feel, I feel like, you know, while daily uploading is definitely a good thing to have, um, it's just not enough. Because, um, I don't know, it's like, the content isn't popular enough for me to sustain myself just off of daily uploads currently. So, that's just from what I'm seeing. So, because I've been doing daily uploads for quite a while now, and it's not really uh, returning anything. So, <sighs> gotta face the music, and uh, if something doesn't work, gotta move on and adapt to it, and, and sort of find the next big thing. So... So, um, I actually might end up starting up a secondary channel, um, and having sort of a, Ooh, that's a long ways away. Okay, so it's around the corner and down there. Trying to draw a mental map of it so I can drive the 
the um, Cyclops down to it. All right. The reason why I'm keeping it so dark is so that way if there's a Leviathan, um, the lights will be off. I don't know if that's actually like, you know, true. That's just something I thought worked when I was playing the game, is if you had all the lights off and whatnot. There's a Le Leviathan watching you. They, uh, they wouldn't be able to tell that, you know, you were there if you had all the lights off and you were running silent. So, I don't know if that's like true or not, but, uh. Yeah, and I'm suddenly lost. Um, I'm gonna grab a... Um, some of the stuff to make the... Scanner room. If I remember correctly, the stuff to do it. If I can find, I think it's in that sea moth. So we're just gonna snag some of this stuff here before we head down and see if we can find those uh, structures we placed like 300 meters away. So. I want to say they're somewhere in this direction over here. Although maybe not. Huh, shoot. Must have lost them. Well, they were like 300 meters away from... And there's really no telling how far I actually traveled in the, uh... Why is it so dark all of a sudden? I really wish I had the light sticks. Actually, now that I think about it, that would be nice to have. Oh, hey, there it is. Lucky me. That was actually really lucky. I found it. And come on, right there. Perfect. Let's get some more air real fast. Okay. Oh, that's why we went uh, too far down. So I was actually pretty close to it, initially. Cool. I'm so smart. I mean that sarcastically, please don't take that seriously. I don't want to end up as an audio clip on r slash I am very smart. Breaking news. 
idiot ASMR YouTuber thinks he's intelligent. But if we look back in his previous videos, he got his cyclops stuck in the rocks. Only an idiot is capable of doing something like this. Therefore, dot, 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 he's an idiot, dot, dot. Am I really out of, did I craft something that had titanium in it? Or did I just like miss it? I had to have missed it, right? It's, no, there's no way that I'm out of titanium. Did I put it somewhere that it shouldn't have gone? I must have. Shoot. That's not good. Um... I don't know how we're going to finish that now without all the goodies. Huh. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a limestone chunk. But it might be that I just have to search for the rubies manually instead. You know, because I'm an idiot who uh, somehow did not take enough titanium. Hmm, I could have sworn that my de like what I deconstructed was on par with what I would need, but I guess not. And things are getting creepy now. Let's see. Ugh. And if they dare screw with me, I will pull that propulsion gun out and I will wreck them. I will make them feel pain. Almighty Bush. Any emergency power only. You don't know emergency power until I've starved you out. <sighs> oh, come on.
All right, well, on the bright side, let's see if we can maybe uh, uh, construct some aerogel that this, the uh, sea prawn uses. Seriously? We're already that low on stuff? All right. I guess we can eat some potatoes. Perfect. All right. Um Let's see. Um, okay, so we need three rubies if we want the death module. So the shield generator would definitely be good. So let's shoot for getting more rubies then. Huh. Well, this I uh, yeah. Let's save the Ruby Adventure for a future episode and find them later. Wow, this area is cool. Oh snap, look at that, Ruby. <gasps> mm, I was trying to listen to the... Uh, Subtitles not on. Okay, because she was talking. Okay, so we're getting close to the area with fossilized remains beneath here. So that means if I keep going down, eventually I'll run into the, um, to the fossil caves. Which is kind of cool, there's a second way to get to it, because I know for a fact the game eventually leads you to it. Um, by sort of, uh, pushing you to the life pod, which then leads to a direct entrance to one of the caves. So, which I think my curiosity is somewhat getting the best of me here. I'm kind of doing some risky exploration, especially with that warper lurking around. There we go. That's plenty. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna keep my eye out for rubies on this wall here. I'm wondering if there's any up here. Nope. Alright, let's head back to the, uh, the ship here. 
I want to thank you all for tuning into this episode. Um, let me know if you guys wouldn't mind if I kind of slow things down a little bit so I can get some actual quality content out. Because um, I do know that there are, you know, some of you who watch this or who watch most of my videos. So let me know what you think. If you would rather have quality content and less of these to watch, or if you would prefer that I just keep doing daily uploads. So um, let me know. Anyways, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic day.